Hi, this is Daniela Burgos for QFREB TV. Deciding to buy a first home is an important decision. Financially speaking, is it better to buy a home or rent? To learn more about the financial advantages of both options, I'm talking to Christine Lemieux, accredited mortgage broker and member of the Canadian Association of Accredited Mortgage Professionals. Christine Lemieux, thank you very much for being with us today. It's a pleasure, thank you. Buying a first home is an important decision. What do people need to consider before buying their first home? They have to consider the uh, lifestyle they want to have, the needs they have. Uh, it's very relative from one person to another, but surely they have to consider the budget uh, versus the cost it will cost for uh, buying a home. And what are the financial benefits of being an owner? Okay, for the financial benefits, I took an example of a couple with uh, two children. The family income, uh, $65,000. Uh, they're renting an apartment for $1,000 per month. And uh, if we would take that money and uh, put it in uh, buying a home, the mortgage plus the taxes, $1,000, the exact same amount. Um, at the end, okay, at the end, I'm considering like a 15 year term because only a five year term, it's too short because it's a long term project at home. So usually people keep it like longer than that, just only a five year term. So after 15 years, uh, the one who is renting an apartment will have paid like $180,000. The person who's buying a home will be paying the same exact amount, except that at the end, there's a difference. There's an economy, really, because um, after 15 years, the balance of the mortgage is um, $130,000 uh, compared to one seventy-seven at the beginning. So there's a capital re reimbursement there of uh, $47,000. Plus, we have to consider that the, the house will take value. Uh, we know that it takes value um, each year. I took only 2%. I know it's not a lot, but I want to be very conservative in my example. So after, after 15 years, the house, the person bought like 177,000 uh, would be, uh, the value would be after 15 years, uh, $238,000. So there's a gain there of $61,000. So uh, if you add those two things, there would be an economy, uh, a gain, not an economy, but a gain of $108,000. So yes, they would have paid like $180,000, the exact same amount of the one who rented, but a gain, a net gain because there is no, um, they don't have to pay any um, taxes on, on that amount because it's the principal uh, residence. So $108,000, it's a lot, big difference. It is, and are there any advantages to being a renter? Uh, I tried to find some. Uh, the one I could see is that it uh, gives more flexibility, mobility for the ones who need to uh, move fast for the, the job, for example, because it's easier to uh, give a notice to, uh, to the, 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 the one who rents the, the, the apartment than to have to sell the house and it takes more time. So the mobility would be one example of the, uh, one advantage. Or if the, one, the person doesn't want to do anything in the house and they hate that and they don't want to work on the house and the, the, they better be uh, renting an apartment. But I don't see very much advantage of being um, renting an apartment because of what I said before. The, it's, a, it's like when you buy a house, you make gain. That's for sure. So if, and it's for you, 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 not you have to, you're not forced to, but it's like you don't, you, you don't see it. You're paying the amount and at the end you have a big gain. So that's the way to create a, um, 
I don't know how to say it in English, um, richesse. And otherwise, the people wouldn't have uh, one, one uh, or eight thousand dollars in their in their accounts. Christine Lemieux, thank you very much for all of this information. <laughs> You're welcome. In addition to offering many financial benefits, the purchase of a home also helps to improve quality of life. Becoming a homeowner provides freedom, a strong sense of pride, and peace of mind. In addition, new measures for first-time buyers were implemented this year by the federal and provincial governments. A video on this topic can be found in the archive section of the website. This is Daniela Burgos for QFREB-TV. See you next time. <music>